How often should a puppy drink water? In this Vet Minute, Revival's Director of Veterinary Services, Dr. Marty Greer, talks about how often do puppies need to drink water? First, Dr. Greer, at what age do puppies start drinking water? Typically, puppies will start being introduced to water in a shallow, flat, heavy bowl at around three to four weeks of age. By that point, their mother can no longer provide enough fluid with lactation, with nursing. So we need to start them on water. I usually start water a couple of days before I start a solid food or a mush for the puppies so that they're accustomed to learning how to drink. Okay, so how often should a puppy drink water? Well, they should be offered water many times a day. Um, It's easy to say, well, gosh, the more often I give water, the more often they're going to have an accident. So I understand that, but we all need to be well hydrated, whether we're puppies or humans. So it's very important that we offer water every couple of hours in a quantity and a form that's safe for them. I am very careful to avoid buckets because puppies can fall into buckets of water. I'm careful that uh, the dish is shallow and that it's kept clean. So it should be run through the dishwasher or washed frequently enough that it doesn't start to grow algae, bacteria, other um, nasty things like that. If it's outside and vegetation starts to fall into the water, then again, you're going to have problems with the puppy consuming things you don't really want them to be drinking. Now, can puppies drink tap water? And what can puppies drink besides water? And tap water is generally fine. So if you drink the tap water, it's fine for your dog to drink the tap water as well. If you're concerned about the tap water, then you can certainly look at buying bottled water. There's two kinds of bottled water. There's the kind that's filtered and purified. And then there's the kind that comes from a spring that doesn't come purified. It comes from water sources that are believed to be safer. The question is, you don't really know where the water source is. So your tap water or your well water might be the safest or as safe as anything that you can buy. And it's going to be a lot less expensive. On rare occasions, we'll want to put a dog on distilled water if they have some health issues, but almost all of the time, tap water, um, city water, well water, those are absolutely fine for your dog to be drinking. And finally, what about adding electrolytes to my puppy's water? When do you recommend doing that? And what electrolytes are safe for puppies? So the human electrolyte solutions are probably okay in a pinch, but we really prefer the puppy light as the electrolyte solution that we use for puppies. It's chicken flavored. It's meant to be consumed by a puppy. Uh, It's got the right balance of electrolytes in it. So it's all very effective. Those are pretty much the only things that I'll use other than maybe chicken broth. Uh, low sodium chicken broth if I'm in a situation where I actually need to do something. The other really handy way to offer water to puppies is with a Lixit bottle. So those are products, again, that you can buy online. We have them in our catalog. And they're basically like a giant gerbil bottle where that has the metal tip and the little ball on the end of it. And the nice thing about that is you can leave that out for puppies all the time. They don't spill it. They don't lay in it. They don't walk through it. They don't turn it into a swimming pool. And I have taught all of my litters of puppies for the last 25 years to drink out of those bottles. They're handy. You can put a little chicken baby food or a little peanut butter, something kind of interesting on the tip of the bottle so that they'll go over and lick it. And very quickly, they figure out that that's a water source. So it's a really handy way in a crate, an X-Pen, in an enclosure that you can keep fresh water accessible to your puppies without worrying about them taking a bath in it. Great tips. Thanks, Dr. Greer. Hi, if you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing to the Revival Animal Health YouTube channel. If you have a pet health question, call our pet care pros at this number. And don't miss our other pet health videos.